So welcome back guys. In today's Make Knowledge Free campaign, we go about learning video editing. Today's tutorial, we go about learning on how we can apply color effects. We use Adobe Premiere Pro for the purposes of this tutorial. So in case you are using something else, not pretty sure whether you will be able to do this. But in Adobe, it's pretty easy to apply color effects. Any video editing software, there are primarily two things. One is applying video effects, one is applying audio effects. In terms of video effects, there is something called as applying color effects and that's what we will be learning to do today. Just launching my Premiere Pro. In my earlier tutorials um, for Premiere Pro, I have already shown you quite few many things on how to create a project, on how to open a project, what is the timeline, how to import media, how to combine clips in sequences. Well, um, one of my projects was like this one. This is a certain cooking dish. I have purposely removed everything so that I can, for purposes of my tutorial series, do everything right from scratch. I double click on this import media. I bring three media clips onto the bin. I can obviously bring audio clips. There's that hundred other things which I need for my project. Now, this here is my timeline. I need to bring them in sequence here. So let, let me just do this. I'll just bring one of them. I just uh, like uh, click on the left side of the mouse, keep holding them and this finger arrives and then I drag it here. And you can see the clip has come. So for this clip, the video is on this V1 and the audio is on the A1. Okay. Well, so far so good. Now the thing is I want to apply certain color. Now if the video goes like this, you can see how the video has a certain, certain shade or a color attached to it. I want to apply a different kind of a filter. Let me go to color here and you will see on the right hand side I have this geometry color sequences. Presently I have applied none of the filters so it's correctly depicting none. Say for example I decide that I want to apply say Canon or Canon no I had a very good one. Yeah BMC RAW 5600 and you can see how beautiful it's starting to look. And this is why I mean applying certain different filters you can actually find the one which suits you. So this is like 3200 for people who would be wanting to make it look more uh, warmer. Um, for people who would want to play around say look like what Nikon D800 looks or some other filter looks. Yeah you can just try that. But if you don't want to apply any filter just go ahead and click on none and br brings you to default. I somehow love this. Uh, raw 5600k really gives a very very nice look and feel to the entire um, video so this is how you can apply color filters i mean if you actually had this original you can see how the original looks and how this looks now so it's uh, completely i mean it's a huge difference i would say and um, i mean if you see here how beautiful the shade now is so like you know with this uh, uh, what the existing clip is and what the changes are I mean things are very very easy to understand so like when I double click on the clip the clip appears here so that you can actually see what the source is and what the program has applied in terms of video editing and further in terms of color filters so a nice thing to do you can play around with the filters and yeah in fact, there are white balances, tones and other things which we will learn into or rather delve into in further upcoming tutorials. Thank you so much. Until next time, it's me signing off. Take care. Goodbye.